protest by pro-Beijing supporters outside Hong Kong's Foreign Correspondents Club. This is Hong Kong. You know you Their anger aimed at the man speaking inside. Andy Chan leads a small political party advocating independence from China, leading to accusations that he's threatening national security. Due to the nature of how the Chinese propaganda machine works, the National Party was instantly demonized as some sort of extremist group due to this single word, independence. In reality, what the National Party is chasing after is no different from what many Hong Kongers wish for, the dream of democracy. Although he says he's not guilty of any crime, the police have recommended his party be banned. If that happens, he says it sets a precedent for stifling all debate about independence. But that's a very dangerous idea because they can accuse a few people in the restaurant to discuss about uh, independence. They say, you have the potential to form a party and you have the potential to threaten the national security. So we are going to arrest you right now to take preventive measures. Chan is from a new generation of activists, which has grown out of the so-called umbrella movement four years ago that occupied the streets of Hong Kong, demanding greater autonomy. Hong Kong's then leader, C.Y. Leung, was the target for their anger. And his attacks on the Foreign Correspondents Club, along with other pro-Beijing figures for allowing Chan's lunchtime appearance, has stirred up the protests. You asked me if the FCC should leave Hong Kong? Of course, maybe even arrest them. We're Chinese, we love our country. Why are you separating us from China? It's led to fears of this issue being used in a wider attack on press freedom. They seem to be signalling the people who have the ear of Beijing that they really would like Hong Kong to be much more like the Chinese mainland where there are controls on what journalists can do, what journalists can say, and indeed where they can operate. For Beijing and its supporters, the word independence has become a red line that shouldn't be crossed. The fear for pro-democracy groups here is that a future law may officially ban even mention of it, and so rolling back ever further the freedoms enjoyed by Hong Kong people. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.